Hi Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Libra sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. The Sun Dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, and abundance. What a beautiful, what, this is a beautiful card. And it's certainly a great message, which is life is short. Go out and have fun and do things that bring you joy. There's no reason to, to be stuck doing things that hold you back or don't give you pleasure. And if you feel obligated to do things, try to find a way that you don't have to. And, and I don't mean in terms of family obligations where you have to go to work and pay the bills, but in terms of your time for you and the time that you create in your life. Focus on the best. As a dear friend of mine, many, many, many years ago, who was probably in her mid forties, she uh, was very ill, the end of life, and she's always said, you know, Karen, ride your best horses. So it's that you've heard the saying before, which is, you know, take out the nice china. Don't wait for that day to use them. That day may never come. And so with this message here, the sun dancers, which is be out in the sun, soak it up, let your light shine, dance, sing, craft, whatever it may be that makes you feel alive and that makes you feel present and makes you feel happy after the activity or whatever it is, whether it's walking with friends, uh, a dinner party, you know, do the things that bring the joy into your life. You know, the joy isn't going to drop down from heaven on you. You really have to put in the, the effort. You have to find your path. You have to explore the many, many million things that we can do with our lives that could make us happy, whether it's being with children, coaching, uh, church service, um, as a, it's just your heart's desire. When you are able to have this time for yourself that really um, speaks to your truth, then you're going to be happier and that's that's an an abundant feeling is to have joy within your life it's to have meaningful celebrations and to celebrate the, the good fortune of being alive it's the good fortune of having good health so this is a wildly powerful card in my estimation, it's a beautiful card to come up, which is dance under the sun, dance in the house, sing, act, you know, find your thing. And hopefully it will bring you great joy. And, and that joy will foster a, the feeling of an abundant spirit. And when you are joyful, it's contagious because other people feel it and they feel the warmth of, of your spirit. So be joyful. Someone once said to me, as I said, well, you know, is it joy reserved for only special occasions? And she said, no, joy is, should be every day that you can feel joy. It's not when the baby's born or when you graduate Every day you have to find something to be joyous about, something to celebrate. It's really the, the gift of, of life and living life to your fullest. So now let's take a look at the body. We'll get a sense of the messages and what we can learn for the body.
Forgiveness heals. I'm willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace and health. There's a lot to be said for peace of mind and to find the place and the space that brings you calmness, that brings you uh, a quiet gratitude. And really, part one of this is to have good health. And uh, it's something we shouldn't take for granted because at any moment things can change. And so do what you have to do to maintain good health. And that's not only, not only your physical, but your spiritual sense and feeding your mind as well. But forgiveness, you know, holding on to hurts, holding on to grudges, holding on to um, the things that didn't go your way in life, I have an expression for that. It's like, you know, you get stuck on the bitter boat and you don't want to be on the bitter boat because it's not fun. It's not fun to be around the folks that are never, never uh, seeing what life is and the goodness, in, even good within sad or unfortunate situations and lessons to be learned, but forgiveness does heal. And over time, it takes time perhaps to heal and that's okay, but to live a life where you're just gonna hold that anger or hold that judgment against someone else. That is a, it's detrimental to you and it builds stress within your life. And as we know, stress creates illness. So let go and flush, <laughs> flush the bad feelings. You know, if you had, if you were mad at your best friend for two years and didn't want anything to do with them, you know, ultimately you can forgive them. It doesn't mean you have to hang out anymore, but you can forgive them and move on. Just very clearly communicate that. You know, I want to just give you this message that I was really not pleased and it hurt my feelings. And it's taken me a long time to get through this. So forgiveness heals and forgiveness is comfort. Because when you are able to forgive, then you have uh, restored your own power and you're restoring the balance to your life and you're restoring really uh, the gratitude this is, I'm willing to forgive myself and others. Forgiving oneself. We're not perfect. People are not perfect. We all make mistakes. We all blow it occasionally. And so it's, it's okay. It's okay. Move on from that. And um, just, you know, Acknowledge it and let it go. Just sweep it aside and just keep living and keep moving on. And most importantly, you know, keep dancing and keep celebrating and keep showing gratitude. Fabulous. These are fabulous. So I can't wait to see for spiritual self or emotional self what we're going to find. Soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. And this soul power, again, it's the very best of you which is you have the capability and the ability to forgive, to live a life of integrity, to show gratitude and to be grateful for abundance. You have the 
built-in compass to uh, express yourself in joyous in a joyous fashion you are a vessel for love to give love and to receive love and to love yourself and this soul power what a uh, again uh, th those are transformative words because it, it's the very essence of who each of us who we are and that is trying to be the best person we can be and the best lover the best friend the best daughter son aunt whatever whatever it is it's um having the depth and the insight and the awareness of your life and your interactions with people it all goes to how how we connect with each other how do we uh, how do we frame our discussions with the people that we care about how do we navigate through uh, difficult situations with people at the office or the neighbors who are not very pleasant you know everything rests within your heart and your vessel in in dealing with life and dealing with these interactions and it's the web of interactions that is the it's everything you know even though people appreciate and need solitude life is meant to be shared with others and to be expressed with the connection of other people because that helps to build our experience and it helps to build our just our sense of goodness and kindness and compassion and empathy for others so uh, in my mind you couldn't find three more powerful cards here with the sun dancers forgiveness heals and soul power so let's go ahead and pick a practice area for the week. This is the Power of Love Oracle Cards. Commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. focus focus okay so love is the essence it is it's the it's it it's the it in our lives how we think what we believe and how we love and how we love everyone not just those in our circle but how we treat everyone with respect and with kindness and empathy. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs, knowing that love is the essence. Commitment to your beliefs, and it takes a commitment to when your beliefs aren't in alignment with others. Now, so believe in the power of your heart your soul power and who you know be confident and believe in who you are and uh, be committed to what you believe in don't let people take take those thoughts from you I suppose okay and finally let's pull uh, this is the soul trees and let's kind of get a meditative thought for the week theme, something to meditate on, something to consider, to contemplate. Beautiful. Live from your heart. Live from your heart. Love is the essence of your very being. Live from your heart, your soul. 
Your soul is your true essence. Your heart shines the way, provides warmth. Your heart allows you to experience and feel joy and gratitude and uh, forgiveness from the depths of your heart will bring you peace, will bring you peace and will bring you comfort. You may not think it at the time, but over time, when you can find it in your heart to forgive, uh, you will feel the weight lifted. So again, this is a this is a beautiful card. Live from your heart. Speak from your heart. Give your heart to others. Let people see how your heart shines. Um, you don't have to tell them. Let let actions speak for themselves. I always think that there's a sixth a sixth sense that when you meet someone and you can just tell immediately how what a warmth and loving heart that they have and you make that connection and again it's about our interactions that we have and so this living from your heart you know it's it's a lucky thing to meet these kind of people who let let their heart just be totally open and so I encourage you to open your heart, let people see your heart and the love that you have for all living organisms, all living things. And everyone, including me, it's just to think about as to opening our heart and to um, allow the abundance of spirit, the, the allow the, the goodness of our souls to 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 come out, you know, not to keep it here, but to let people see right through you. So I, I think this is a beautiful spread for the week. Um, really encouraging and very exciting to have messages that, that tell us to celebrate life, be grateful for it, have fun, it's a gift. Enjoy it. To forgive those who have wronged us or uh, petty skirmishes that we hang on to. Just, just let them go. And to trust our soul, that our soul is going to guide us. And to stay firm and to let our love shine through commitment and to live from your heart. To live from a... a uh, pure emotional state. So I hope that you found something here that was helpful to you. And again, if, you, if it was, please like, share, comment. Let me know uh, what you think live from your heart means. Uh, just drop me a comment in there and we can chat about it. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. It'd be awesome to have you join this channel and um, all the great people that are already subscribed. So thank you for taking the time to watch and I will see you again next week for another weekly Oracle Mind Body Spirit forecast. Bye.